so guys this is how the fiber looks like after it is washed okay i couldn't take out all the green portion uh, because i was in such a hurry okay so now i'm going to show you how i make a cordage out of this so you have to you know take as much fiber as you need uh, uh, for the thickness uh, that you need for the cordage and then just fold it in half okay and just turn it towards you then just take the other one turn it towards you or better yet okay. and this will turn it on its own see this is how the cordage turns out to be just a few turns both the same side keep on doing this the other one and then let it turn on its own you see this cordage beautiful cordage okay so you keep on doing this till the end when you come to this end you just join over here you add another, uh, another piece of fibers okay another length of fibers and then continue making the cordage and it will turn out like a beautiful rope or something and so beautiful it's soft right now i don't know how it will turn out once it is uh, dry maybe it will turn coarse but i don't know see how it it looks this is how it looks okay yarn handmade yarn see here yeah. i'm going to show it to you once it is dried and made the entire yarn is made this is so cool right Cool, cool, cool. Yes, bye bye. Come on. I'll make such a big rope with this one. Mm, yeah. For this, I used around half of the, uh, you know, slice of the leaf to turn it this length. I think it is somewhere around sport weight or, yeah, sport weight. I think it's sport weight. So cool. So, bye bye. Hi guys. So this is the cordage which I made um, with cattail leaves. What I did was I scraped the the leaves. I separated the leaves. I split the leaves first, and then I took out the uh, vegetable matter out of it using a kitchen knife. Uh, after doing that, I took out. I separated the fibers, uh, and then I washed the fibers. I again separated the fibers and uh, made this cordage out of it. Uh, you know, by hand spinning the uh, the the fibers. Okay. So I in the in the video earlier I showed you the uh, to make the cordage with uh, with more fibers. Um, I later decided uh, to use only few fewer fibers and then I made this into a thin cordage. Uh, this is an this has turned out to be a nice cord. If you see this, it's it's very nice. Okay, uh, it's coarse. After it gets dried up, it turns coarse. Uh, it's stiff, coarse. It's wiry and it makes a sound. See like this like like hay like uh, grass it's mostly like grass okay and i think it will make perfect baskets or mats or, or bags um, you can't use it for clothing or something because it's very rough it's rough for the skin uh, even uh, i i tried doing a thigh spinning i mean using my thighs for spinning it and my thighs also got rough after i made the cordage out of it so i just wanted to show you how it looks it look it's it's turned out very nice and the color is lighter in color uh, it's it's sage green it's almost sage or even lighter green green uh, in color and it's dried out completely i'll dry it even more so to save it properly and to make something uh, maybe i'll come up with a crochet uh, project a crochet pattern uh, using this yarn self-made yarn self-harvested yarn 
so i'm very happy with how this has turned out uh, i hope you like it too i'm going to show you a second method too uh, in the second method it will be continuous process so uh, keep out uh, keep looking for more videos uh, from uh, on my channel and i'll be putting i'll be adding more videos later on as well uh, right now i'm um, today itself i'm get, i'm adding a video af just after this so be on the lookout and my yawn so happy with it bye bye Mwah. <laughs>